Hey there, Cursedlings. Curse Lord Nick here, and as promised, we are continuing our mission of searching back and trying to find our biomarker. <laughs> so hopefully, if everything goes good, we should get it this one. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. Sleeping beauties. Yeah, we have to walk past them. If you crouch and move slowly, they shouldn't notice you. Get too close and you're done for. You probably know that already. I do, yeah. Senses of sleeping biters are limited. Pass around them and keep your distance. But there are some goodies. A curiosity will <laughs> okay, so yeah, if, if they're like move around them, it's better to move around them. Alright, let's turn it back up. I mean, in this case, if we live, we're gonna get some, uh, of the combat <laughs> How you're supposed to do it, <laughs> but uh, I just I was so curious. I just wanted to try it. Um, now we know. <laughs> so next time we'll just uh, <laughs> definitely. Oh, I knew that guy was there. Thought it was on like moving. There was something right here. I wanted to check out. If we have to go over here, I promise I will uh, try and <laughs> try to do the sneak approach just so we can so you can see both. Yeah, I don't want to fight my way through that one. There is something in there though. It's that bad habit of wanting to need to get. Oh no, there's nothing here. I think I need to move a little bit slower. Chemicals. Nasty shit. 
When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm hmm Uh, oh, you can't search those. Okay. What are, so what are the coins for? That's my question. And, uh, are they just meant merely as like a distraction uh, item? So, this guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. He wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. I guess so. <laughs> Make it. Wait, I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. GRE access key. Uh, it's a highly sophisticated encryption tool that can unlock special doors and chests marked with GRE logo. Additionally, it can also be used to discover hidden inhibitor containers. The GRE key activates automatically when you're close to an inhibitor container, revealing the distance to its location. When close to a hidden inhibitor container, hold R3 to use your survivor sense to highlight its location. Alright, so it's going to like ping or something like that. That makes sense because it seemed like I was like weaker than normal. We got company. A volatile. Don't move. You can't handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker.
computers, I, I know I'm like, I probably should get going, but I'm like, oh, well, there's stuff here. It's gonna be like a game of uh, cat and mouse. Where are you? Hopefully, I can ping them. Guys, sleepers, yeah. Just gonna go slow. Hide in here. Alright, where is he? Does this guy see me? I'm hiding. Straight ahead. Don't be a chicken, eighty. All right, grab all these goodies on the way. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> I have a feeling as soon as we touch that thing, that uh, big uh, volatile is going to come at us. Inhibitors are the only way to increase your maximum stamina and health. Increasing those attributes is important as it unlocks access to some of your skills. Each upgrade requires three inhibitors. If you find them, go to the skills menu to level up your stats. Inhibitors can be found in GRE crates hidden inside GRE quarantines and GRE anomaly locations. Additional crates can also be discovered while exploring off the beaten path. Awesome. Uh, yeah, let's do stamina for sure. Took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. <sighs> Oh, 
Okay, we just kind of went full circle. Hello? Hack on. Alright, let's go. First, we search. Might be something, you never know what we're gonna get. Can I get that? Oh. Right, let's search this one. Right, sell those. Okay. Yeah, let's just let's go, go talk to him. Then get in here. Quick. It will be done. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the light fast! Run! Uh. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I'll find some place for us to live. You know, someplace quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. Ha, <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <sighs> fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Pfft, fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. <laughs> I 
Oh, okay, this is where we were, uh, yeah. Where we were searching initially. That one's blue, so... Let's better grab it while we're here. Alright, let's, uh... Beep it. Okay. <laughs> Here, you'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador, plenty of interesting spots to check out. Binoculars. Binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations. Hold uh, left directional button and press R3 to use them. Watch the reticle in the center of the screen closely. It gets smaller and the closer it is to the location that can be discovered. Locations discovered by binoculars are automatically added to your map. Awesome. Okay, so... You see the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. You've unlocked the open world. Zoom level. Press uh, touchpad to enter the map. All right. We have a few few places checked out. You've unlocked the open world zoom level of your map. All open world activities you discover using the binoculars or during exploration will be visible here. Awesome. Unlock faction structures and activate a safe zone. Uh, metro. Cool. Welcome to Villador. You have now unlocked the open world of Villador. Your first goal is to visit the Survivor's Hub, uh, the Bazaar. You'll find a merchant, a resting place, and your stash there. Use your binoculars and survey the area to reveal additional locations on the map, like windmills, which activate new safe zones. There are plenty of places like these in the city waiting for you to discover them. As you explore the world, watch your compass for encounters. Uh, blue, they offer you a chance to help some of Villador's citizens in exchange for XP and various rewards. Nice. Now I'm curious though, like, okay, how do I save? Oh, let's check the weapon. I want to keep all blue stuff in here, so let's do this. Um, put this one, and then for this one we'll put this one, and then for this one we'll put this one. And everything else will end up just uh, selling it when we get to the bazaar. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to quit. And let's see what. And I'm going to reload real quick just to see like how this works. Because there's no like save and quit. And then let's see where it loads us back in. And then what I'll do is I'll probably end the video there. So that way we know exactly where we're going to pick up. Okay. And then we're going to go continue. Let's see where it puts us. I'm guessing it would be at a safe house, but we shall see. All right, and yeah, it put us, I guess this is right at the church. Um, 
so there's a couple of spots we can go check out, like the house, uh, you know, some stuff over here. Um, on our next video, we'll either do a little bit of side exploration. Maybe we'll check this stuff out right here and then head to the windmill and then do the next mission. Um, but until then, uh, as usual, thank you for watching. You guys know what to do and see you in the next video.